Hi, it's Maria. It's such a beautiful day outside. I decided to come outside to do, to do this vlog. And you can see my husband's monster behind me. This girl. Um, anyway, I have decided that going to the doctor will kill you. Because a week and a half ago, I was fine. And then my doctor wants to see me for a checkup. And suddenly, everything's wrong. Um, I go to the doctor and I come back sick. Now, um, the... Uh, Tests. I, I had actually had to have an MRI done and two CAT scans, and the CAT scans were to see what was going on in my abdomen or uh, my kidneys to make sure they were fine because I was having some pain, and <clears throat> it usually was when I was doing something that caused it, but then it started to be present even when I hadn't done anything strenuous. So my kidneys, it turns out, are fine. Um, I still probably should take it easy for a little bit longer, but they're going to be fine. But it turns out I have cysts on both my ovaries, which is just a little painful, but I think it's normal. They come and they go. A lot of women probably have them and never even know. And then I had a cyst on my liver, and I just got back from having a hepatic sonogram done. They're going to check that out and make sure it's nothing, because uh, usually it's nothing. And um, sometimes, though, an underlying, my dog is squeaking her toy. Sometimes there can be an underlying problem that will cause that. So that's why they wanted to do that, just to make sure. And then I have a hernia, which I did not know about because I'm not hurting. I don't feel it. And um, But that's due to the surgery I had some 10 years ago when I had my gallbladder removed. When they cut into your abdominal wall, it weakens the muscle. And I think I read about a third of uh, the people who have their abdominal wall cut into it usually end up with some kind of a hernia. So that's no big deal. And uh, I had an MRI done as well as the two CAT scans because uh, I started to experience some memory loss. Um, I didn't remember much about the hospital or the emergency room and I thought that was normal. Apparently it's not. But uh, I also started to have little episodes where I uh, did things or said things to people that I don't remember. And then I was kind of uncharacteristically gripey. Um, I can get gripey in the mornings, and that's normal for me. I can be a grouchy bear. Um, you probably, I mean, maybe my husband would notice, because I don't want to, like, hug and kiss him and stuff. But other than that, if you leave me alone in the morning, I'm fine for, like, the first 10 minutes after I wake up. However, I started getting grou grouchy or gripey during the day and um, for no reason. And little things would make my blood boil just all of a sudden, and that's just not like me. And also, um, I'm a very guilty person. Like, everything makes me feel guilty. I cannot say no to people. I can't be mean to anyone. Um, it just makes me feel bad. I feel bad for everybody. And then all of a sudden, it was like I was guilt-free, which was kind of good for a change. But I knew that wasn't like my, you know, that's not me. And then I'd gone to the grocery store to pick up my son's... Uh, medication and they told me it already been picked up two days before that and that I had signed for it and then I called my husband and he actually had signed for it but I went with him sorry I went with him supposedly and um, <laughs> my daughter's texting me from school I don't know what she's doing texting me from school anyway um, he, I went <sighs> got it now see I lost my train of thought I do that a lot and I lose my concentration. Um, he went with me and... I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. He says that we both went to the grocery store and that they told him they had to transfer it to another store. Um, the, our pharmacist is in the grocery store, by the way. And that it was going to be an hour and a half and that I went with him to go pick it up afterwards at the other store. I can't recall any of that. And then he tells me um, he enjoyed our conversation the other night and... I don't really recall that either. And uh, somebody might ask me, you know, what did you do over the weekend? And it takes a while. Uh, some of the days I can't remember at all. And other times it takes a while for me to remember. Like I have to backtrack and go backwards and try to remember what I ate or what I did to try to remember that day. And that's, like I said, some people might be like that normally, but that's not how I am. So that's why they did the MRI and um, went to see the neurologist today. And he said that the E. coli kind of messed with my brain a little. 
and uh, gave me encephalopathy encephalopathy I think that's how you say it and basically global amnesia which uh, should go away in time and if it doesn't I need to go back and see him but that's not something that's going to stay so I, I should get better but let me tell you I don't have health insurance and uh, I think my hospital bill was nine thousand and something dollars which I haven't paid yet and I need to call them and start making payment arrangements but I have been to the doctor in the past 30 days more than I've been in my entire life I've gone to the doctor four times now or something every time I have a test they want me to go back in to give me the results of the test and the MRI and the two CAT scans were like $1,800. The neurologist was $400 just to walk in the door. Um, then the hepatic sonogram today was $190. Oh God, I don't. That um, I kind of wish this. I just had never gone. I mean, obviously, um, I had to go back to make sure the. I think I see a worm. No, that's not a worm, it's a branch. Um, I am horrified of worms. Not a lot of people know that about me, but... God, I'm going off on a rabbit trail. <laughs> I'm going way off subject. Um, if I see a worm, I will not go where that worm is. I will not go near it. I will not get out of my house if there is a worm on the porch until it is removed. And... I hate worms, can't stand worms. I have worm nightmares. My, in one of my nightmares, my father was chasing me, trying to put a worm in my hair and telling me, oh, but it's cute and fuzzy. And yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have a heart attack in that dream. But I don't like worms. And as far as I'm concerned, butterflies are just worms with wings. <laughs> anyway, back to the subject. Um, so I'm not gonna edit this because I want you guys to see what is happening. I completely forgot what I was talking about. I don't remember. I'd have to rewind this and look at it and I had to do that with the last video I made in fact before I started realizing that something was wrong. And this is what happens. I start talking and I go off on a rabbit trail. I can sit there and chant something to myself trying to mem memorize something or try to remember you know um, like when I'm in the shower and um, I need, I'm trying to remember when I get out to remove the ball of hair that's left behind because I shed a lot ever since I started losing weight. Anyway, I will sit there just chanting to myself, get the ball of hair, get the ball of hair, get the ball of hair while I'm shampooing, while I'm washing my body, I'm getting out, I'm drying myself, get the ball of hair, get the ball of hair. And next thing you know, I'm in my room on the computer and I don't even realize when I stop chanting to myself and at what point I forgot to get the ball of hair. So, um... It's just annoying, I guess, more than anything. But anyway, um, feeling way better. My strength is returning daily. I, I don't get as tired as I was getting for a while there when I just do hardly anything. So I'm going to go back to the gym today. It's been like a month since I have been to the gym. And I am ready to get back on my journey of losing weight. And uh, I think, I don't know what I weigh right now. I can't weigh myself because I just ate a whole bunch of food. But I'll do it in the morning. But I think I'm probably, uh, last time I told y'all I was like at 196. I had gone down to 193, but then I gained some weight. Anyway, right now I, I'm guessing about 196, 197 still. So um, the job is almost done. I'm so close to my 100 pound mark and I just need to jump on it. And um, after all this crap that's happened to me and everything I've been through and just happy to be alive and feeling healthy now, um, I'm ready to get right back on it and I feel like I have the determination that I did in the very beginning where I was just dropping weight like crazy and um, it just occurred to me the 90 day challenge was over like on April 1st and everybody it seems like everybody completely forgot about it um, the 90 day challenge did not end up what I wanted it to be it you know that was focusing on weight loss but um, it taught me a lot I mean, having that near-death experience and then even the experience at the gym, um, the scare or whatever, I found out that I am not a quitter and I am not the weakling that I thought I was. And um, I'm a tough cookie and I'm going to get this weight loss done. I'm going to whip myself into shape. I'm going back to the gym. I'm going back to my healthy eating uh, because this whole time since I was uh, not supposed to be losing weight, not compromising my... Uh, 
there goes the concentration thing. I can't think of the word. My immune system, not compromising my immune system. I was eating um, normal calories, so I was eating 2,000 calories a day. They're somewhere in there. But anyway, um, I will tell you guys in another video what I weigh. I don't even want to know what I want to say anymore. And it seems like this video was just pointless. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.